Okay, welcome back guys. We have a giant day ahead of us right now. It is officially the first day of harvest and so we got to get equipment out and we got to get two of our new John Deere 8820 combines out of the shed and it's going to be a big year for us. Hopefully grain prices are up. We should be able to make a good amount of money because currently me and Nate, mainly me, ran the balance down to $6,000 in our account. And so we need money badly. Luckily, these 8820s and two 30-foot bean heads are going to be able to knock out harvest pretty quick, I'm hoping. If you're a farming legend, definitely check out American Farming, which is my mobile game. If you guys are interested in American agriculture, definitely check it out. Link is down below. Brody. Yeah, what's up? Okay, hear me out. We're going to run two 8820s. I don't know how good okay. the bean yield's gonna be. What would it cost you per acre to run your combine with us? Um, yeah, let's see. It'd probably cost you about $20, $25 an acre, something like that. Done. Deal. Let's do it. You got a gleaner or a deer? All right. I got deer. I got an 8820. Oh, you got an 8820. Okay, so we'll run three 8820s. I'll pay you 25 bucks an acre to custom harvest. And then I think we'll just put all of our wagons on the side of the field and just knock this out as fast as possible. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. What is neat? Oh, he's switching out the corn head for the bean head. I was like, that guy, is he <laughs> on to his lunatics? Lunatics or something like that? Okay, Nate's getting hooked up to the big... Whoa, he's trying to drive over the big 30 foot head is about what I was going to say. But if you guys look here at our fields, we have field 20, 21, 19. That's all beans here. We're going to start harvesting this first. There's a lot of acres. So that's why we run 30 foot heads. And then we got 102, 101, and 100. That's beans. We got two fields of corn, 96 and part of 94, which is our home base. Here is Brody running his combine over here. So I'm going to hop in the 8820. Let's see if she starts up. She's got like 10 hours on her. So, oh yeah, she fires right up. We'll back her out of the shed. I've got her in first gear right now, but I'll put her in second gear reverse. There we go. We got duels, so we should be able to hold a good amount of grain on the tank of this thing. Okay, so we got Brody pulling in with 8820. We got Nate, and then we got me. Um, I think Brody has a... Yeah, he's got a 24 foot bean head there and we got the big 30 footers. We've got a pair of two wagons over there. I'm thinking we'll probably get the John Deere 4955 hooked up to those. So it's got front wheel assist. If we get stuck, we can run the 4955. It'll work good. If we had another pair of wagons, I'd probably want to run the 4755, but for now this should work good. We'll hop in her, we'll get her started up. Ooh, we don't want to be in 13th gear. I'll put her in probably like third to start off with, fourth gear. Let's see if we can make that turn. There we go, we'll shift up. Got the hitch pin in the wagons. Both of these are connected together, so we should be good. These two DMI wagons, they're going to be able to uh, hold, I think they hold, well, I forgot how much Nate said, like three or 400 bushel each. So should be able to move a lot of grain. You boys on the CB? Yep. Where did Nate go? I'm getting my combine dialed in on the bean field behind the house. Oh, you already started. Yeah, it's like a one acre, not even an acre lot right back here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out real fast instead of wasting time. Okay, I'm thinking, Nate, we'll start across the road here because that's a big, 80 80 right across the road there brody do you want to open up the field and then i'll pull the wagons in yep i can do that okay i'll just park on the side of the field for now there we go we'll throw hazards on let brody pass by quick are you guys gonna be able to fit through the gate uh, oh, I gotta be able to fit through the gate. okay hold on hold on hold on let's see yeah guide me through okay oh yeah you'll be able to fit yeah oh uh maybe not maybe not maybe not son of a gun just push her a little more yeah angle her through there you go turn to the left or right yeah. there you go yep i saw nothing right. it's good it's good there you go all right unfold that there we go oh yeah he's cutting i think he's eating Okay, so Brody's opening up the field. I'm gonna check behind his combine, make sure we're not throwing too many beans out the back. Honestly, it's looking good. I'm finding like one bean per square foot, which is which is reasonable. That's totally fine. So I'm thinking we should be good. I'll let him keep opening up the field a little more and then I'll pull the uh, tractor and wagons in. Okay, Nate's coming in, but with the 30 foot header. So I have no clue how we're gonna get this through here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, brute force. You guys didn't see anything there. There you go, Nate. Yeah, open up a big spot right here. There we go. Okay, we should have enough room opened up for me to pull the tractor and wagons in. There we go. Hopefully we don't put one of the wagons in the ditch. We should be good. There we go. And for now, I'm just gonna park the tractor and wagons just kind of along the edge here. We got the 8820, and I gotta say, with a 30-foot bean head, this is this is a lot. The biggest I've ever ran is like a 15-footer, and this feels giant compared to that. We gotta be careful about running down the paved roads, but we should be good. Okay, Nate is rolling there. I'm gonna start up the combine through the PTO shift down. We'll probably put her in like second gear, because, I mean, if we're yielding good beans with a 30-foot bean head on 8820, this thing's gonna be uh, rolling cold like crazy, man. 
There we go, and we are cutting. Okay, we're currently running six mile an hour. The 8820 is actually hand handling these beans fine. I mean, these are like 55 bushel beans, which is extremely good uh, around here, around this area at least. Boys, how's she going out there on the CB? I'm pretty good. She looks like she's not yielding the best, honestly, to me. What? But she's cutting real good. She's doing decent. I mean, these are good looking beans out here. They're tall on 30 inch rows. I think they're a little dry too. I think they're like 98% moisture. Yeah, we're maybe getting like a bunch of shatter loss or something. It just doesn't seem like we're getting as many as we should. True. You sure you're not blowing beans out the back, Nate? Nope. I know how to set my combine up. Okay, man. Just want to make sure. We are humming along. We got Brody over there running. Probably same speed as me. And then we got uh, Nate up there getting towards the end. And we are rolling on beans. Okay, Brody's emptying into one of the wagons right now. We'll probably be about 70% full, so I'll probably empty into the second wagon. We don't have a grain cart operator right now. I am wondering if at some point we should try and get a grain cart operator. Nate, are you sure you're not blowing beans out the back? You don't have as much grain as us. Oh, I'm positive. Come on, sit still. There we go. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. We can all three unload at the same time. Okay, so we got Jerry running the combine right now. I'm basically going to play grain cart dude and run these wagons and keep everybody empty. Currently 75 percent full so i'll just get topped off quick and then start heading to the elevator okay brody's 38 percent full but he should have enough for me to unload in i'm hoping we'll get up to his speed brody how fast are you going i'm going six but we might as well stop because there's nothing else in front of me true 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 and nate's rolling over there Boy, I love this 4955. It's got the power even when you got two wagons almost like full. I mean, I'm doing road speed through the field. When we hit this hill, I don't even think it'll uh, it'll notice the wagons behind it at all. Okay, Nate, ready to roll? How fast are you going, six? Yep. Ah, oh, shoot, it's my back wagon. Okay, we're just gonna have to stop, man. We'll just stop right here. Nate should be able to top me off, and then I'm just gonna open this gate, and we'll just pull out this gate. Okay, we are full. We are hammered down to the elevator. We got about four miles to go. We'll toss on the beacon. That way, no crazy son of a gun's on the road run into me. And hopefully, by the time I get back, those guys aren't full. Hopefully, I time it just right where they're just about getting full, and they're not waiting on me, though. We're probably gonna make a good amount of money from this, guys. Prices at the elevator are insane. Here's the thing though we're trying to play realistic trying not to cheat any money so we need all the money we can get because come 2000s we're gonna have to buy some probably really expensive equipment okay let's see how much we can get here local elevator guy says we're one of the first of the year to bring in the crop actually so that'll work good i'll uh turn this off we'll start dumping some beans we'll see what we get okay we got eighty-two thousand dollars for one wagon load boy that'd be nice to have in real life We'll keep scooching forward, dump the other one. Like I said, guys, we need this money though, badly. So we're gonna keep it, even though it's a little unrealistic on the high side, we're gonna keep it in game. $73,000 for the other wagon load. We'll hit the scale, we'll weigh out so we can see our net bushels and keep on moving. Brody and Nate, you guys on the CB there? Yeah, I gotcha. Are you guys full? I'm at 79%. Okay. You should make it back. I'm hustling. 52%. You must really be blowing beans out the back then. Gosh dang. And he's got the bigger header, so. <laughs> We just like to give Nate a hard time, guys. I'm sure he's not. Hopefully he's not blowing beans up the back. Looks like Jerry's full, though. Ah, okay. And there we go. We are unloading Brody. We'll keep this guy going. Jerry's full at the end, and I'm assuming Nate's going to be full very soon. The 8820 combines do take a while to unload. So, like, their auger is just, like, really slow for some reason. So, it does end up taking us a little while. Okay, we got to catch Nate down here. Nate, are you full? Yep. Okay, we're going to be efficient here. I'm just going to pull between these guys, and then we'll, we'll unload. There we go. Okay, these boys are topping me off, and I'll be ready for another load here. We're going to make a good amount of money, boys. But we do have a lot of loans that we got to pay back, so. How much are you making per, per wagon? Per wagon's like 80 grand. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that's really good. Okay, I'm full. All right. We'll take the paved road on down to the stoplight and then head over to the elevator. And eventually, if you guys see that train right there, it'll get shipped out on rail. Throw the hazards on, toss the beacon on, and we'll hit the road. Okay, we are on our second load into the elevator. And here's to like another $150,000. This is going to be nice. We need it though. Okay, after selling those two loads, we're at $326,000. I was just talking to Nate and Happy, and we have like a loan of like a million dollars. So hopefully by the end of harvest, we can pay back our entire loan. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, we are rolling on the next field. We got Nate and Brody doing headlands, and we got Jerry running in the middle of the field. We are knocking out acres. Okay, we're doing some unloading on the goo. We are rolling on beans. Yeah, I'm empty. Perfect. And we are full. Okay, we're on the road for our third hole here. 
Throw the flashers on, I got the beacons on, and those guys are just finishing up that field, which means, if I look at my handy dandy paper map, we've got field 20, the rest of this field 19, and then we got a bunch more fields, like 102, 101, 100 to harvest for beans yet. So we got a good amount of beans to harvest yet. And we're back for a third reload. Pull in here, with the brakes. Oh shoot, I didn't stop in time, son of a gun. And now it's gonna be hard to back wagons in. Let's see if I got it still. This is almost impossible, but we're gonna try it. I just need to get that front wagon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're on our way back. We currently have $490,000. Those guys are just finishing up that field. I honestly think they might all be full out there because those beans are yielding pretty darn good out there. We'll see, I'll talk to them. You guys on the CB? Yep, I'm here. You guys full? I'm at 80%. Nate, you full? 90. Son of a gun, okay. I'm coming. And we are rolling. Brody was about full, but I caught him in time. Unload on the go. And then Nate, yeah, Nate's completely full down there. But to be fair, these are some really good beans we got going here. I mean, they're probably 60 bushel, 65. And for the drought year we had th this year, that's pretty good. Well, guys, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Next video is going to be another harvest video. We got to finish just like 40 more acres of beans. And then we're most likely going to be starting on corn. Hopefully, we can get a million dollars by the time harvest is over and pay down all of our debts that is the goal and definitely check out nate's channel down below and brody's channel down below link in the description thanks for watching guys we'll see you next harvest video